Okay, good morning, guys. It's Chris from DAXtrader.co.uk, and it's the 6th of July, 2017. I'm going to look at the DAX technical analysis for uh, today, which is Thursday. All right, so uh, first things first, just to mention that trading financial markets is risky. It involves the risk of losing our invested money. Um, we're not providing financial advice here. This is for educational purposes only. So if you decide to enter into a trade off the back of any of this information, please do so at your own risk. All right, if you've got any questions as we go along in the webinar, guys, then just uh, feel free to shout them out and um, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so we've got the five minute chart just in front of us at the moment, just because there's a trade on at the moment, um, which was held open from last night. It was the signal that we sent out, uh, closed a third of the position already yesterday, although I can't see where I closed that here because I've shut my system down and opened it up this morning and so past trades don't get shown. But uh, we've still got a, uh, a little bit left open on this one, so we'll see what happens. Now, we've had a reaction this morning, which is quite interesting. So we initially broke the high of yesterday around about sort of 8 o'clock when a bit more volume came in. And I sort of thought to myself, okay, well, we closed above the value area high from yesterday, which I'll show you in a moment. And we gapped lower this morning, closed the gap pretty quickly around about this sort of time. and then took out the high of yesterday and I kind of thought to myself is this a, a run um, to continue the bullish momentum or is this a trap actually looking to try and trap in some weak uh, buyers um, and the worst case scenario would have been that we maybe would have gone up to test this high uh, from the 5th yesterday at around about what eight o'clock half past eight yesterday but at the moment it seems like that's probably less likely because of what's just happened a few moments ago so it turns out that we had uh, a rejection and this line and again whether that's skill or good fortune difficult to say but if we scroll back and have a look at what this line is it might well be quite interesting as an action line and it's a fork based on pulling it through these two points here uh, targeting through that high and that low and it gives you your pitch fork and it's actually rejected to a break from the underside because we broke below that and we're now testing it to the underside so that is quite interesting to me so we'll see if this uh, actually does continue to hold or not all right what i just need to quickly do is chat sound okay good all right so there's a potential that that it, that alone might have actually been a trigger for a, a short for a lot of people up here as we kind of entered into this sort of pocket and uh, took out the high, created this trap, and then just turned over. So at the moment, we're still in that position. We're looking to target here at 4.15. Um, it was mainly because of the reward to risk, but uh, I may start looking at other areas to adjust for the targets here. We've got two more. Uh, pieces that I'll probably put this trade into and see if we can get a profit from it. Okay, so let's take a look at the hourly chart. That's another thing that I found this morning that uh, was quite interesting. It was this, this level here. We had a really, really fast bar uh, from the 29th of June. And if we just kind of roughly pull a 50% line through that, Okay, I got it wrong looking, eyeballing it. So we've got the point of ignition up here, which is where the move started, and probably being overly accurate, but I'll just move that there. I'll get rid of that. And we've got the 50% zone here. And let's just draw a line through that connector. Well, we can actually probably connect a couple of these. So it kind of adds another little bit of weight to this move um, as to which direction are we looking to head. So we came up to a just under test this line here. I mean, you could even argue that actually this should be there. Excuse me. I should have turned off Skype. 
Um, and then again, if you pull the line through those two connected uh, lows here, it goes almost perfectly through that 50% zone. And uh, you would then have touched the underside here. So again, that could be a kiss goodbye as well. Um, what I found interesting was that we had a bit of bullish divergence there at the bottom of that move, which I think was roughly 100% extension from that move. It's slightly tenuous, but a uh, but, bit of bullish divergence down there. We had the move up, tested the underside of this line, and now maybe this is the re uh, or the continuation of the move down. So that's something that's interesting to me at the moment. And again, it's just a simple bit of line play through these balance points here. And uh, you could pull a fork through that. It would do the same thing, doesn't really matter. So that's quite interesting. I'm, I'm probably gonna save that chart up actually. And uh, I can't do that while I'm in a meeting. All right, I'll do that later. And I'll put that into the article. The daily chart itself, um, the only thing that I find interesting at the moment is we do have this kind of zone, which has reacted before as a mini balance point when the move up, and it's kind of reacting at a similar point now, suggesting that this is going to be the beginning of the move down. And if this is the move down, then that's horrendous for bulls. But you know, if you're on the short side, I'm sure you'll be pleased with that. Um, and then you've got to kind of think to yourself, well, is that a major trend reversal? And I think I said the other day, if we take out this low here, then technically you could say, yes, it is, because we're starting to make, you know, lower lows and, and lower highs. But you just have to kind of zoom out still and think, well, take context into consideration. And you've got to think, well, where is the line in the sand for this to be a major reversal? And, and it is difficult to see. I think even if we did, decline down here and do a 100% extension here, we're still probably going to bounce around about this line. Excuse me, which is well somewhere between 12.50 and 12.80, I think was a common line that's being marked out from various line plays. So as a long-term strategy, it could be an opportunity to either as a bull target lower areas to buy or you know, even just sort of switch your bias temporarily to look for some some shorts to the downside. Because I mean, I am bullish most of the time, but I don't get married to the idea of only buying. I'm quite happy to sell if I spot an opportunity. I just don't tend to sell as often. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the profiles. So what have we got from yesterday? We've got um, well, a bit of a reaction here at the value area low for today, which is interesting, which is around about the point of control from yesterday correct myself if I've just made a, a mistake there at the value area low of today and we've carved out a little bit of an area here inside the value area from yesterday which is where we're currently trading value area low has just moved would expect that whole zone to move as more volume comes throughout the day a delta reset itself this morning and it's now trading again negative so I mean it's well, pretty obvious to sort of see why with the price action that's happened so far this morning but really taking out the value area low from yesterday is a is a, is a key key area um so i think the reaction here to the point of control or to the value area low from yesterday is going to influence my decision on what to do with the trade and how to manage it i think if we find support here and continue to move higher then you know, it's always always a possibility the reaction to that value area low is, is important because I think I break below that and there's a huge amount of volume that was traded here with this sort of normal distribution day. In fact, that's almost a perfect bell curve from yesterday. Nothing really unusual. Slight little volume, low volume area in here, which we've already sliced through. But uh, breaking through the value area low from yesterday really does open up. Um, a move to test these lows and even lower so you know it, it will be quite important to see i think it's certainly not going to be a straight move down you know it's not just gonna uh, go and hit 12 300 in one go it's gonna be it's gonna meander itself around a little bit um so i'd imagine it's gonna find some sort of support here probably find some more support there you know and be careful of how you get this sort of divergence area here and as we break through, it could move higher before going, you know, it, could, it will meander all over the place. So you've got to try and be as flexible as you can. But 
watching a reaction at this line will be interesting. So levels that are untouched. Well, I mean, for the last couple of days, we've been trading in this area, as you can sort of start to see on this composite profile over here, we're forging out a large point of control. Um, I tell a lie, no, we're not. It's up there, wow. What are we looking at here? Let's change it to the current week. All right, so we are pretty much bang on the point of control for the week. Value area high was way up there. Value area low for the week is around about 12.305, something like that. We've got an untouched POC from Monday down here at uh, thir uh, 392. So again, I think if we break below the value area low, then it's possible that that's a target that will be aimed for. That sort of naked pop there. Okay. Just got a question in from Colin. Uh, do you have any training on Delta, please? So we will double check uh, the training bits and uh, solutions with you after the webinar, Colin, no problem. Had another question come in from Shay, which was, were we not closed out? No, nope. we were not, but I'm not sure if that was for DAX or for something else. So I might need to just double check that. I'm not going to bring up Telegram during the webinar, but uh, um, I, I think I just caught the excerpt. It was, were we not closed out? So um, the trade that I had that on, guys, was actually based on um, FXCM. So that was not a trade using the futures account. Okay, so just to come back to where we were, they were the levels that we were looking at to the downside. To the upside, if we get a bullish breakout and we're actually closed out here, which you know is certainly a possibility, and if it happens, it's one of those things, then breaking above 500 opens up 535 and 600, two levels that we discussed yesterday. So, um, you know, that I'm marking those out. If this particular move is actually a break to the downside, then, you know, this little point of ignition here, you could draw a balance point through that. And, and you could say that we're actually looking to come test. And I'm just going to draw this really rough. And, you know, there's the move. There's the balance point. We come up to touch that line and down we go. 100% extension of this move. So A and B equals C and D. And then we're coming down here somewhere. So that's one option that you could look at if we get a reaction to that line. If we stay below the value area low, then I'm happy with this trade. If we do break above this value area high, I think I said value area low, I meant value area high. If we stay uh, below the value area high, then still looking to send a trade. If we go above value area high, then it's potential that either we come to retest this before we head lower or we are going to have a breakout. So a couple of options that you could use to, uh, to, to see there. And I think there was just one other chart I wanted to quickly look at, which was just a fresh chart here. There we go. And it's just a, what's that, 15-minute chart. Nothing special. And I'm just going to quickly draw that very, very clear pattern emerging there. That's the opportunity to trade. If you've not already got something in there, then you know a break of that move could be interesting. If we break to the downside, you do have a couple of areas of support just, just be aware of that you don't get chopped up with. Um, but you'd imagine that that's possibly the higher probability move at the moment just based on price action and the lack of ability for buyers to break that area there. Not to say that they can't. So if they do break that area, then that's a, a trade. Would I take that straight away? No, I probably would wait for a pullback first, then a hold and then a move just simply because of the fact they've had a few attempts at breaking this area and they haven't been able to do it just yet. So I'd probably rather see a break above 12,500 than a hold of 12,500 and then a move up to 535 and six plus. But uh, I still think at the moment, it's just slightly higher probability that we're gonna to break to the downside. So let's see how that works out. So still holding a short at the moment from yesterday, um, not particularly wise. I, <laughs> I meant to close the position out, but didn't. Uh, because of uh, being in a band rehearsal. So it stayed open. So more good fortune than than skill, um, I would admit. Okay, so we've got a couple of other gold trades open as well. We are 
currently trading gold. We are uh, long. We are actually trading Euro Aussie. And we've got an, a limit order uh, out there for cable as well. I think we were looking at trading the uh, the dollar yen was a signal which I put out yesterday as well as a limit order, but I've cancelled that one. So if there are any gold guys here, uh, I have closed that, but I'll update that in the journal um, or in the channel for the moment a bit later on. All right, so um, we're going to leave it there for today. If you've got any questions, give them a shout now. Otherwise, we'll be closing up the webinar. Um, I'll just quickly summarize what we've gone through so far to give you a chance if you want to. So we're currently short. We're looking at targeting uh, a break below the value area low from yesterday, which could open up 390 um, and potentially lower to the downside. We've got a couple of different line play studies that are suggesting that if we do get a quick rally, it won't be for very long. Um, and if we do get a reaction to the underside of those trend lines, then we will be able to support that move to the downside. We have already closed the gap from this morning. So uh, that's already been dealt with. We're struggling to break through 590, sorry, 49500. And we've got this kind of triangle pattern that's emerging here um, on this 15 minute chart. We've got potentially longer term move down to even the 1275 level if this is a balance point that's roughly half of this leg down from this break below the triangle and we looked at uh excuse me yeah i've pretty much already covered that so the underside of this move so we just drew a line through the balance point here and then we took that. So we'll leave it there for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you have made yourself a, a really good trading day today. Take care.